hi everyone welcome to the data analytics blog if this is your first time in this channel can you click the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel i need your subscription and also click the notification button to receive updates on all the tutorial i share every week so the purpose of this dashboard is to analyze road accident data within from 2021 to 2022 and also identify pattern and trend that can help to improve road safety and also to also show details insights or detailed insight into the road accident along with their contributor factor so i gathered all the requirements and analyzed total accident and casualty for current year and also year on year growth with respect to previous year also i did my analysis with respect to severity of the accident and casualty with respect to or uh, vehicle type casualty by by or uh, road type also road surface and monthly casualty trend casualty with also with respect to location so these are all the analysis that i did from a uh, from the data provided so, and it is also very important for us to note the user that is the stakeholder of the of the various dashboard that you you want to create so for this dashboard this particular dashboard will be useful in the ministry of transport department also race safety corps road transport department and also transport management agency so with this insight they will be able to know the contributor factor to the road accident and also it will help to improve uh, improve road safety they, they will help to improve road safety with the insight gotten from this and also the functionality that you'll be learning at, at the end of this why at the end of this uh, particular tutorial what you will learn the new thing you will learn in this tutorial is how to create a uh, date table, how to use DAX to calculate year to date, year on year uh, calculation, how to use filter, how to also group in Power BI, and how to use the advanced KPI and also creating custom column and mails. I believe that at the end of this video, you would have learned a new skill that will help to improve your or uh, your skill as a data analyst or anywhere you are working as a uh, as an analyst this part uh, as far as you are using power behind at the end of this video i'm very sure that you will learn new thing that would that would have that would be an advantage to your or uh, skill so let's start with the or uh, dashboard so now uh, again my uh, background I did my background. I designed the background in PowerPoint. This is where I designed the background. So if you need the background, kindly let me know. Put it in the comment section. So the data also, I got the data online. This is the data that I uh, used to analyze this particular uh, dashboard. Like I said, is you know, or data from 2021 to 2022. So you can actually filter by each of this year. You can click on any of this or of the year. If you want to be information on a particular year, you can filter. And if you want to know the weather condition that actually contributes to casualty and road accidents, you can filter by fine weather. You can filter by rain. Maybe it was during the uh, rainy season that accident occurred. You can filter by snow or fog. So now we can start our analysis now. Just download the data. The data link is in the uh, is in the video description. Just download it and let's explore this together. So import the data from Excel. I'm going to import this data now. So road accident. So I will import the data and load it. So now I'm going to click on this and transform the data in Power Query Editor. 
so there are some things that i need to clean and how to i'm going to clean something in the data or in the data so that the, uh, you'll be able to also learn one or two things from this place so now for the uh what's it called under accident severity there are some things that i need to replace there where is it okay yeah on that display you will see that we had fatter and we had fatter so i think this is just a typographical error so i need to just do replace value so i'm going to click this this is how to replace value and click right click there on the particular column that you want to replace value then replace click on replace value once you do that it will give you this dialog box and then what is the value you are finding so i'm make sure that it is always case sensitive so you make sure that you are writing it the same way it is so you are looking for theta and i want to replace it with fatter so then you close by the time you check this you can see now that everything is corrected also under row type and weather condition we have some blank there and the, this blank has they have or uh, what's it called values uh, in other columns so i need to replace them with with a uh, holder so let's check for 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 weather condition weather condition you can see that no so i need to replace the no value i'm going to replace it with other replace value no replace with order so i've done that also i need to do oh that's under that condition so under root type 2 we have some no i think we have some no other root type so i need to replace the no replace with order 2 no order so now i'm done with all these things again one well, another thing that you need to check in power query editor is to make sure that all your data are in the right data type if not whenever you are creating any dax formula any dax you are using dax you might have issue with it so think all my data they are in the right data for a uh, data type so i'm going to close and apply and load it to a uh, report view now our data has been loaded to the report view so now the next thing for us is to start curating the various tags but before then we need to create our date table and then there are two or function to create date table you can use the calendar auto or calendar so i'm going to explain the two function so now for us to create date table we have to insert new table that's what we are going to do so you can go to a data view which is this place and then click on new table so you can name your date table as calendar table or leave it as date table but i like to use it as calendar which is equals to i told you that there are two functions you can use first i'm going to explain the calendar auto so calendar auto we using calendar auto with uh, if you use calendar auto it will automatically create or uh, a date for you by default power bi will create Table, date table for you so if you use it and close it with blank you will see what uh, you see that power bi creates the date by default from 18 19 and it will give us to or uh, what's it called it will model our data to to 2022 like i said our data so it will model it together with the 
or date table we have in our data you can see that in 2022 so now that's how to use it but again if you use it and put one power bi we automatically st uh, uh, we, we start with or uh, if you put one in that blank page it will start you can see now it's starting from february and it will ignore january so that's how uh, calendar auto is being used but in case you but me i always advise that so uh, instead of using calendar auto I, I will advise that we use calendar because you'll be able to by using calendar you'll be able to input your start date and also end date so uh, if you put here now you can see the expression return detail it said that we should put the start date and end date and also our start day will now be minimal of or uh, of the road accident of the road accident date that's our start day and then close the bracket commas and our end date will now be maximum of that road accident date so you close the bracket also and you will see that it has input our calendar date you can see now that is giving us just the date of what we have here also if i want to create another i want to extract the year from here so what i need to do here is to create an, a new column for the year that's for year a uh, color so i'll name it here equals to year you are extracting it from the calendar date that we just created which is this then close the bracket so you close the bracket so it will extract the year from us and again i need to create a new column for our month and i will also create for month number so for month equals so i'm going to be using format because the month that we have here the month date or the month function will not give us the uh, the format if i use the month function it will only return the number of each month not the format that we want so i'll just use format month okay oh sorry format that's an error so format that's calendar we are extracting it from the same calendar date then comma comma then the the format that you want it i want it in this format so you close it and it's going to give us the color you can see now give us this format so i'm going to do the month uh what's it called the month number now month number will now be equals to month calendar date that we created so now we have created our date table now the next thing now is to or uh, what's it called is to group the date table oh sorry is to model it to or uh, create relationship between our date table and our uh, data our road accident data so that's the next thing so i've created the relationship between them now so now next thing now is to start our analysis but before we start our analysis i need to bring my visual i need to bring it i need to bring oh my power bi background i'm going to be bringing it to this oh page that's what i will do now so now i will click on canvas background then first i want to change the background to this to black reduce the transparency then i will bring it from bring the this is it already save it and then change it to fit so that is this is my background so now the next thing now is to start creating 
or oh, what is it called to start creating dax to start creating uh, or the custom mayon and column that i need to create here uh, in this place so the first one that i need to create is cy or oh, that's the current year casualty and also py casualty that's the previous year before we can create the year on year group so i will just create this now click on this link create new mail and i will name it as current year or casualty because i want to extract the year on year group current year casualty equals to that's we have total year to date that's the function that i'm using if you are following my video you will see that i also did my last video i also explain in details in this particular function you can also check that so total year to date then sum that's the expression sum that's sum of casualty number of casualty is the number of casualty then the date calendar date that we created calendar date that we created so then click enter click enter so you can check that okay let me just create let me create one of the let me use one card to check that let me use this to check what we've created so i'll bring it here then this is what i just created to check if we are on this you can see now this is my current year so now the next one that i need to create just click on this i will just copy and paste this then click on new method and then put it here and i will name it as oh uh, okay i'll name it as the uh, previous year casualty and that will be i'm going to be using calculate a uh, function for that calculate then some number of casualty number of casualty then close the bracket same period last year same period last year and then the calendar date again the, we are using the calendar date that i created the whole that time then close the bracket so if you also put it here now you will see that if you also put it here, you will see now that everything has changed. So now for us to create our year on year group, I'm going to be subtracting or uh, current year minus previous year divided by previous year. So year on year casualty will now be equals to CY minus py that's close the bracket just open the bracket and close the bracket then divided by py so let's check that and i'm going to put it in it's supposed to be in percentage so we can also check that you can see now so this is our why so now i've done for casualty so i also need to do the same thing for accident so all i need to do is just to copy and paste this so the current year for accident i'm going to do this copy and paste so i will just change the number of casualty to number of accidents so but then i'm going to be using accident is index so because accident index if you check if we check our data let's check it together 
if we check our data this data you will see that each accident each, each accident that her called as number so from here we can actually check for different or we can actually calculate the number of uh, accidents from that accident index so now again let me copy this copy this again this new mail so i'm going to be changing this to accidents accident then this will now be count of accident because we are not summing anything to be this total yesterday will now be count because it's in form of a text count of accident severity accident uh, index then calendar date so let me copy this again because i will use it So now that's the current. So let me the previous year was it called accidents. We now also be let me I copy that. Just do copy and paste. Then insert change this one to accidents and then again change this to can't. Changes to count, then this will now be accident accident index. So close this. So now for year on year growth for accident. So again, calculate year on year growth for accident. I'm going to do that year year on year good for accident equals to c y for accident let me introduce bracket here minus py for accident then close the bracket divided by py for accident also remember to change it to change the format to or percentage okay so now we are done with all those things we are done with that again i need to group my or uh, the weather condition and also, I need to group the as uh, what's it called vehicle type. I need to group them. So I'm going to be using. So what I will do now next is I'll go to first. Where's the weather condition? So this is the weather condition. I'm going to click on it. Right click on the weather condition and then click on new group. So I'm going to show you how to group in Power BI. So this fine and high wind i'm going to change it to click on it so right click and click your control key on the two then click on group once you've done that then you will write change this place i'm changing it to find whether you can name it in anything you want to name it. so this we uh, the same thing with this i'm going to change this to or rainy or rain this this and this i'm going to change it to or snow or or fog or you can just do it like this so the next one i will just leave it as order so that's how to group in Power BI. So I'm going to do the same thing for vehicle type. For vehicle type. 
I'm going to right click on it, right click on it, and click on new group. So for boss, for boss, I'm going to be okay for boss. I'm going to be leaving it as boss. So that's boss or push the mini boss. So I will group that and I will name it as boss. So the next one, car. Let's check for car. Do we still have any other car? Hire taxi or buy a car. So I will group that and name it as car two. Car. Okay, I didn't click this. Let me ungroup this so that we'll be able to this and this group changes to car. So for agriculture, I'll group agriculture and order together. I'm going to give them as order. So this will be let's say boss is it boss let me check okay let's first group all the motorcycle together let's group them together so we group it as motorcycle so i think this Okay, this will be van. I'll group it as van. So this, I think, is going to go on the order. On group so that we'll group them together as order. So now I'm done with this grouping now. The next thing now is to start creating all our visual so i'm done with all the necessary things that i need to create my chart so now let's check the overview of this now so this is just a text box so i'm going to copy and paste this i'm going to copy and paste this here can i oh i can't okay let's check let's for check
put our first slicer, then the second one, which is the weather condition. I'm going to do that. So I'm, I'll be using the weather group that, that weather condition group that I created. That's what I'll be using. So now, I'll just bring this here and remove this. So again, I just need to, I don't need to tie in between. Slicer option. Slicer setting. Let me drag that. Okay. So now, here. Yeah. Let me just put the weather condition as the title. Weather condition. Change this to this. So let's change this to this. So I have this here now. So now we are good to go. So now Let's start creating each of the KPI, that's the key performer indicator. So the first one that I want to do, total accident, total casualty, and also others. So I'm going to be using this card. So now for total accident, it now be this, like I said, we are using this, then I'm going to be changing this to can't or well, let's say can't this thing. So now I'm going to format this first. Let me remove the background. Change this to D, then change this to 25, and also I will change it to white. And okay, before then, let me move you and border. Then colored value. Let's bring it here. Okay, so we are good to go with that. So now the label, I'm going to change this to this color. Also, to this, can reduce this. So I'll just write total accident here. Okay, so now. Test for this value. Let's check is in hot Let me ch check. Okay, I think I prefer it like that. So now this I'll just change this to even hot. So I'll just leave it like this. Then 
can soon change this to 20. Let's just leave it in thousand. And then decimal place. So now we are good to go with this. So just rearrange this. Then bring it here. Then copy this and paste it. Copy this and paste this. I will just add number of casualty to this. That's what I will do. So remove this. So again, total casualty. Okay. So we are good to go with that. So now the next thing that I need to do is the other KPI, which is uh, the casualty by vehicle. So I'm going to be doing this five times because I think we group them into five different uh, category. So now put this here. Okay. Let me first leave it. Let me remove it first. I don't need it now. So now we need to be adding our or uh, what's the called total casualty by vehicle. So now so this is total casualty. So I need to be adding the vehicle type. So I'm going to be using the vehicle group side that I use here, and I'm going to filter for each category. So I bring this here. So the first one now is, or uh, what's it called? Boss. I'm going to change this to boss. So that's 13K. That's 13,000. I can just write, again, this total cash. I need to do something here. So now I can still change the format here. I'm going to change the format. So I would prefer it in no. So now that's this is now boss. This is for boss. So now let me change this to a hair. So now I need to input the image like the way we are seeing it here. I need to improve the image. So the first one is this boss. So I've already downloaded some of the image. So I will just add it. I'm going to add it. So I'm going to change it to. So how do you add image to the new card? So this is the new card, the advanced card. So I'm going to add ascent to. So the ascent, I will also put it at the. Oh, okay. So it will be, let me leave it to left side or right side. Then change the color to white. You can see it now that it's has changed. So the image, all I need to on the image, put switch it on. Then now I'll go to image, then browse through. So the first one that I want to, I already, like I told you already, downloaded the image and so you can google it and download it now let's format it the position i want it to be at the left i want it to be at the left then the padding i'm changing it to zero then the size let's just leave it to 40 okay let's change it to i think i change it to 70 or 80 thereabouts so Let's check 75. So I change it to that. Yes. So we are good to go with that. So then I'm going to copy this and put it here. Oh. What happened there? Okay. 
something happen. Copy and paste that. And then the next one that I want to do now, you go back to your filter here. Go back to your filter. And then remove this and filter for cards. So this is for cards. Filter for cards. Card. Ah, sorry, for car. So now I'm going to change this to card too. So again, go to your image size and then add image image i'm going to change the image to car like i told you i already downloaded it so now that's car this i'm going to copy it again copy it then come back to your filter. You know, we are making use of filter and I change this to motorcycle. Then I'm changing this to motorcycle. This is motorcycle here. So now I'm changing this to motorcycle. Then again, the cart. I'm going to change the image of the cart to motorcycle. Go back to this list. Change it to motorcycle. That's bike. Just download the image online. Then the next one. Yeah, copy it twice. The next one, which is this. Again, come right here. Remove this and change it to van. Which that's van. And I'm going to change the image. Okay, let me change this to bar. Then cut. Change the image to bar. Browse through. So the last one, which is order, I don't need image for that. Remove the image. So I'll just come right here and change it to order. So we are good to go. Now we are done with all. Now we are done with all this. So now the next thing now is other KPI. That's for the current year and year on year go for casualty and also accident. So I will just copy again and paste it here because I'm still using the same card. But I just need to remove something there. So now I will click on this card. Or I can just let me create the zoom from because I will, I won't need to remove anything. So let me just create a new card. Then I will format it. Let me bring it here. So now that's my current year for accidents and also for casual for casualty. So I'm going to bring current year for accidents and year on year growth for accident. I will add, you know, you can add cards together. So I'm going to add them here. Then I'm going to go to my first remove background. After that, then I will just call out value I'm going to change this to this then change this to 25 then also bring it to the middle after then then label I'm going to change this to this color and change this to this 
can leave it like this. So now this tie, that's the layout. I want it horizontal. I want to be, I want it to be horizontal. So now, next thing is the cards. I'm going to remove this. Okay, let me check this tie that I used there. You can use any style. Okay, so I'm removing this and now we had ascent bar. And my access bar will be at the top. be at the top to separate them okay so now this my uh, shape i think i use this snip this is what i use yes i got it so now that is how i did that so now i'm going to copy this now and paste it and i will use it for my oh that's current here for casualty and also just add casualty and also add this then you now remove accident information from there so now i'm done with that so now the next thing is my i'm going to be doing cor L. that's the casualty by sale Accident severity, different type of severity. Severity, whether is or oh, I'll just copy this now. Whether is fatal, slight, or serious. So not to waste our time, just copy paste that you know how to insert what's it called image. Uh, how to insert text box in Power BI. If you don't know it, you can check any of my video. So now I'm going to start this. I'm going to start with this now. I'm going to add. Okay. So this, what I will do here, this is what I want to do. Where is it? So I'm going to be adding this, this. That's for, I'll just filter out for that. So now let me remove this then i'm going to be using is that did i use current here let me check what i use so that's current here casualty and they are here on here good so first thing that i'm going to be doing i will just add this i'm going to be bringing this uh, casualty accident is uh, severity here to filter for each of the category so this is this i'm going to be using this mm, okay so again i'll copy i'll copy this and paste it here so you see what i want to do so again i will use year on year so that's for filter that's for a uh, fatal accident right let me check yes that's for fatal accident so i'll just write fatal here the as this accident is fatal so then i will for i need to format this open this in new thing i want to format it so a particular custom and if color value mm -hmm. value so now I formatted this so I need to just write after here. I hope you are getting what I'm doing. It's very, very easy. So this one too, I want to format it. I'm removing this asset bar. And also I will remove the 
I'll remove the layout for this. I don't need the layout again. So let me see how. Okay. So this I will just write fatter casualty. So now I'll copy this, copy and paste, copy and paste. I'm going to be using it. Okay, before I copy and paste, let me let me reduce the size. Let me reduce the size. Open format layout. I'm going to reduce this. Reduce this. Reduce this. So I'm going to put this here. Then I will group them. So just click on the two and group. So I will just copy this now. Copy it out. Okay, then copy it together. Just copy and paste. Also put it here. Then paste again. Put it here because you are going to be using it again for the other casualty. So now this. All I need to do here, come right here and change it to serious. These two. This, also change it to serious. You can see now. So here too, just click on. So this, I'm going to be changing it to. Oh. Slides. I hope you are getting what I'm doing. Again, click on that first box. Changes to slides. So now, what's the next thing to do? Here? I'm just going to change this place to serious. Serious casualty. Then this one too. I'm going to change it to fat or uh, slight casualty. Okay, this didn't change at that time. Change it to serious. So now we are done with all the KPI. We are done with all the KPI. So now I can naturally change this to. the R KPI. So the next thing now to do is to start creating all these charts. So now I'll first do the monthly chain, which I use area chart for that. So I'm going to bring my area chart. So now for your, you can just custom. You don't have to use my own custom. You can create your own custom, customize your chart in the way you want. The only thing is just to follow the process. So customize it. So I'm going to use the area chart. So that will be monthly trend by number of uh, casualty. That's what I'm going to be using. Then 
I'm going to be using my months bring it here so now I need to format these two open new then format so now I don't need the secondary axis so for my y axis I'm going to remove this x axis remove the title so that's for the title so I'll just or monthly okay let me just write monthly casualty trend so this i'm going to bring it to the then change it to this then customize my color i'm using this so so now for the month, you can see now that it's not in the right order. So I need to sort that. But before then, let me sort my month. Let me customize it. So I'm going to customize my line. I will add marker also. For the x-axis, I'm going to be changing this to black again. Change this to this, so we are good to go. So we can add data label, add data label. So for my data label, also I'm going to change it to black. Change it to this. Can increase this. So now for this to follow in the right order, what I need to do is go to data view, then go to this calendar view, click on the calendar, and then click on month. Once you click on month, then sort by month, click sort by month column, just sort, click on sort by month, then go back to this place, and then click on your, click on your axis. Then sort by month again here and in ascending order. In ascending order. So you can see now that we have our month in ascending order. So we are good to go for the background, remove the background. So now the next one that I need to create, I'll just copy this, then paste it there. So that's monthly trend by road type. I no casualty by road type. So let me check to be sure. That's casualty by road type. So I'm going to be removing this and hard road type. Yeah. So I will change this to bar chart. I'll change this to bar chart then i'm going to format it go to my data i will only need to format the data label change it to no yeah good so now we are again i'll copy this then do my casualty by okay what is that's Casualty by location and also root surface. Let me do location first. Location. Yeah. So now I'm going to be changing this to location. That's area. I think we have area here. Location. That's this urban and rural. I'm going to be changing it to that, but I want to change my data to do not chart. And then I will do some formatting, remove the legend, then data label, I will do all category. Then I will just do category. Okay, let me do category and uh, percentage of total. 
so now i'm going to i'm going to go through my slice i'm going to change it to this okay i think i use this so now the title i need to change the title that's casualty by casualty by or uh, location so let me copy this title because i need it to another chart copy then bring this one here let me change it. this will be casualty by row type then copy this again and bring this this is the uh, casualty by road surface i think surface so here to be casualty by row surface so i'm going to change it to row surface i'm going to bring this here change this to whole surface i think i use or oh, colon chart here okay we are having blank okay, i can just change the blank to order like the way i asked so i can change the blank to order so again go back to your data Go to do the same thing that I did the other time, and I will just what I did to the uh, weather condition. So I forgot to do that there. So now change this to okay, change it to where is the row type? I thought I changed it, I changed the row type. Okay, road surface. Road surface was what I supposed to do the other time. So I'm going to change it. Road surface. So I'm going to change the no. I'm going to change it to replace the no with or uh, that the no represent blank. I'm going to change it to order. So okay, and then you can close and apply. It should reflect in our dashboard. It should reflect in our dashboard. I see now that it has reflected in our dashboard. And then we are done with this dashboard. And I believe you have learned new things to be able to improve your skill. Plan out to group how to use filter and now also how to calculate different or uh, mail and custom color using that so we have come to the end of this particular dashboard and make sure that you comment give me your feedback give me your feedback share this and also most important thing subscribe to my channel i need your subscription subscribe to my channel and uh, I will see you next time. Bye.